doing. Um, how do I communicate with the group? So in this case, in both cases, uh, we're all friends, but we basically have been using a combination of like Discord to chat and communicate, but also to organize things a lot. We'll use Notion, which is a free kind of like, what would you call that? Organizational tool, maybe? Because it's kind of like a jack of all trades tool. It's got project management in it. It's got note taking. Um, so it's like a combo. Um, for this first game, Ponder, uh, this was for Fletch Fest, which if you guys have seen Fletch makes in stream, um, he hosted a week long, as he called it, creative jam as opposed to just game jam. And basically, um, sorry, I drew a blank. Basically, instead of just being games, he opened it up to like art, music, uh, games, any creative outlet, photography, um, and so, uh, yeah, that's, and, and the theme for his, like, usually they come with a theme, it was Pond, so we, uh, Sterling Cerise and I, who is our dev, or not, de well, Sterling Cerise did the dev work, but he's also our mod here on stream, um, created Ponder. And is there a cost aspect? Uh, so far, any jam I've done has cost me nothing. I mean, besides time, of course. <laughs> um, so, because it's not like we're publishing it or anything and we're not selling the game. Uh, so there isn't any revenue. If it was, like, hosted through, like, Steam or something, then, yeah, there would probably, like, if we were selling it via Steam, there would probably be a cost there because you probably owe Steam a chunk of money, which I don't know how much that is, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, but in this instance, um, we, we, it's no, no cost. Um, you can post on, well, you can post on itch for free. It, it's free to post on itch and you can put a game up for sale, but we haven't done that because these are like, technically these are like incomplete games, I would say, um, or just for fun to challenge ourselves. So I would feel terrible trying to sell these. Um, yeah. Oh, hi, Sasquatch. Uh, so I did all the art for this and then James did the development work. Um, so this first game is called Ponder, which is a puzzle game. You'll get the gist here about, uh, collecting your little ducklings from a pond. So the way this one works is you have these buttons down at the bottom left and they give you movements. So this tells you how far, like, where you can move to. Um, and you have to col- I forgot James did that. And, and you have to collect the ducks, um, using only the move set provided. So, like, in this case, we only have to get one duckling. I know, I think it'd be a cute mobile game, too. Um, I'll be honest, so, like, we had some feedback where they were, people were like, man, like, some levels seem harder than others. I forgot how to do this one. I think it's here. Here. Yep, okay. Um, where they were like, some levels are harder earlier on than the later ones. And I was like, yeah, that's because I've never made puzzles before. I literally took and I drew out the grid like this on my iPad and then colored in where I thought the ducks might go. And then I passed it to Cerulean Cerise um, and he developed it. And then we had a couple people test it just to see if they were working. So this is this is Ponder. I honestly don't remember how to complete my own game. Um, I'm pretty sure... I go... I think it's this way? I don't remember. Um... I think I already messed up. <laughs> oh, let's see. That's okay, though, if I did. No? Wait. I Oh, I did it! Okay, good. I didn't forget. Um... Yeah, this one was really cute. I had a lot of fun making this one. And I, at the time I've been playing, 
Um, I don't know if you got. I played the demo on stream, and I know I have the highlight of it, but there is a game called Railbound that's a puzzle game. And I got some inspiration from that. Um, yeah, so basically what we did for the grass is, so the objects here are placed. I believe uh, James selected which ones. But we, I created a bunch of tiles, grass tiles. And so, like, it's funny because this is something that's a little janky about it, but it's also kind of nice. Is So these are randomly added in here, but they're ones I created. But if I reset the stage, they flip because the game thinks it's reloaded. <laughs> So it reloads the grass into a different spot, which is pretty interesting. Oh yeah, okay, this one. And then we get both of them. <gasps> Hi, Sapphire! Welcome, welcome! Hi, Amanda! How are you? Oh my gosh, I have not talked to you in forever. Um, so yeah, I'll here, I'll go back before we go too far in. So each one is set up as a different biome. So this is like one one. And so all the, let me go back actually. The stages here are like your typical pond items. And then once we get into like here, it's supposed to be kind of like Asian inspired. So we have some sakura flowers, a lotus flower. Um, and so I did make the pond a different color to represent like the different stage of the biome. And then this last one's actually a desert. So you have cactuses and more like brown rocks and sand. And, and things like that. So ideally, if we were to expand on it, I don't know if we will for this one, is we would probably have different biomes. I also wanted to do decorations. I had made decorations to put along the outside of the pond. But with our time constraint... Um, we did not get to do that in time. We technically only had like four days because um, Sirlene and Cerise was busy for the remaining two. So it worked out though because I really like what we came up with. If you said cookie biome, I don't... Yeah, with the, the procedurally generated, it, it looks a little much, doesn't it? Let me see. This is the big one. So they get really big. Um, so we have a hippo at the bottom. I don't remember which stage it is, but I think there's only one stage where you can do it like two different ways. Um, I tried to make it to where all the puzzles only had one possible solution, but I think when we tested it after publishing it, we found out one of them had two. My husband played and ended up with an extra tile, so that's how this happened. Uh, but this is Ponder. I'm not going to go through all 15 stages because I don't remember them all. Um... But if you're interested in playing it yourself, you can check it out on itch. They're free to play. The, both games I'm going to show today are free to play in the browser. You don't have to download either of them. However, with Ponder, if you are on an Apple device like a MacBook, um, there is an issue with the game engine we used. And so it does not load um, properly on the game engine. 